Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Living Peace Church Wednesday service. Today, we have a whole lot of, of activities planned for you and a wonderful session. We do hope you stay, you subscribe to our channel, and you continue with us. Thank you. Wherever we are, let us lift up our voice to heaven and appreciate God because He is the reason for this season. He's the reason why you are alive today. Is the reason why you can connect to today's service. Why not lift up your voice to heaven? Why not say thank you to him? Lift up your voice to heaven. Lift up your voice. Wherever you are, wherever, if where you are, you can shout. You can just, you can, you can pray in your spirit. Open your mouth and begin to speak to heaven. Open your mouth and begin to call him beautiful name. Malivrato shaka tafianda balakota vara da da ba shandi balada da da shata falakota fianda la balakota shati bili bara da. Mirato shata tata vala da 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 balakota fianda la bo shata tata 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 balakota tata. Oh Jesus, bless your name. Malavarado shaka tata 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 vala da da da. Vara bo shati mini malakota. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Malavrozo to bara da kete bili koto shandi vranda da da da. For another time, O oh Lord, let us lift up our voice. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Even as you are connected in your respective locations, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Lift up your voice to heaven. Even if you are in transit, you can still pray in the vehicle there. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you to Jesus. Because it's another time to learn again at his feet. It's another time to fellowship again. Mali brado shati bila kota varado shaki bala bala da rato jakata tata bala kota rando shaki mina malada bala kota balande rando kota bala kuti mila bala da shata mirado jakata tata bala da rada bala kuto baranda boroto shaki biranda bala da in Jesus mighty name we pray. We're going to tell it to God, our Father. Today, I would not waste my time. Today, I would not waste my data. I have joined this service today. I am connecting to this service today. Your word will meet me at the point of my needs. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Do brande kete bilu do do bala bala bala. Rato jaki te bili kada bala bala da bala da bara koto bianda bala ko jante kete bilu do sa. Oh Lord, we will not waste our time, oh Lord. Jante kete 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 bala da 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 da. We will not waste our time, oh Lord. Oh, marete jante kete bilu roto jaka ta 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 ta. Ye kada bala rande koto jante baranda ra bala 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 shata. Ye kada bala barando jaka ta 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 ta. Tata bala rande kete mina bala koto bala nde jata tala bala da ike da baroto shaka tala da in Jesus mighty name we pray. Lastly, we are going to pray that the Bible made us understand that our God is wonderful, and we have been taught by our pastor that when we say wonderful, it means that it is full of wonders. We are going to tell it to God, our Father. I am connecting to this service today. Let your word work wonders in my life. Let your word work wonders in my finance. Let your work work wonders in my business. Let your work work wonders in my family. Let your word work wonders in my family. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we are, as we are connecting, oh Lord, on this day, your words that will be coming from the throne of mercy on this day, let it work wonders in my life, oh God. Mali brado shaka tafarado kutumi la dabala kidney merande karada parado jande kede mirianda rando skopi andale karada rokoto mianda birada bar rokoto shakata rade pele rando kutobi anda balado sakata miria korabala baranda zate kete bianda lado skata in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, let your word work wonders, O oh Lord. Let your word work wonders, O oh God. Let your word work wonders, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we say thank you. Thank you because we are connected again today. Even in our respective locations, we are still together in your presence. We ask that as we have connected today, we will not just connect in vain. Your word will reach us in our respective locations. Your word will work wonders in our life. In the name of Jesus, 
the word that will be coming from your son on this day would meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for your answer. In Jesus' almighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Come on, lift your hands wherever you are and worship my King this evening. Give him all of the worship because he deserves it alone. Let him know you are grateful for a time like this in his presence. Wherever you are watching, from your homes, from your work, from your office, from school, just worship this God. Worship him this evening. You are a thousand. You are a thousand. your voice.
about Jesus. And we will not go about this anymore. We have come this evening. And you will breathe upon us. You will minister to us. You will let your light shine to us. Let's lift up our voices and thank him. Thank him for another time in his presence. Thank him for an opportunity to come listen to him this evening. Praise his holy name because he is good, because he is God. He has brought us here again to listen to him, to learn at his feet. Ask him that, Lord, you will speak to me specially. You will speak to me specially in the name of Jesus. I have come and I will not hear as usual. I have come, I will come to hear and hear in new dimensions. In the name of Jesus. Rakazuri ya madozi ya kaderebo. Lika tuale kazuzi ya rena ndu karira bosa reka deja hii. Rano zeze kia bosa. I will declare you are the only God. The only God. The only God. I will declare you are the only God, the only God I know. I will declare, I will declare you are the only God, the only God. The only God. I will declare, I will declare, you are the only God, the only God I know. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, Lord. You are wonderful. 
wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful, wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. God, we declare that you are wonderful this evening. But we've come to acknowledge your wonderfulness in our lives this evening. As we go into your word, we pray that you go with us in the name of Jesus. That you teach us specially from your springs in the name of Jesus. We shall hear and we shall be transformed in the name of Jesus. We shall hide your word in our heart and we shall be transformed therein in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, somebody. I count it a real privilege to be here once again this evening to break the bread of life to the brethren. Uh, I want to especially thank the pastorate of the church leadership for this opportunity. And I pray that the anointing over your heads shall not run dry in the name of Jesus. God's word is God's spirit speaking to man. Whether it is through the written word in the scriptures, which is Logos, or his spoken word to us part time, which is Rema. God finds ways consistently to communicate with his children. His word is his command to us. It's a form of expression of his spirit to us. And while we are still in this spirit of wonderful, this evening the, the, the topic before us is the word works wonders. The word works wonders. Isaiah 34 verse 16 tells us, For my mouth has commanded it, and his spirit has gathered them. His word is the commandment of his mouth. It is the expression of his spirit. And this evening, the first, the, the first wonder of God's word that we'll be looking at is the creative wonder of his word. The Bible tells us in John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. First it tells us, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. If we read further, we go to verse 3. It says, without him was not anything made that was made. Without this word was not anything made that was made. Hallelujah. I cast our minds back to the first, uh, uh, the first book of the Bible. The first act of creation in Genesis chapter 1. Where it said, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That is the creative power, the creative wonder of his word at work. Hallelujah. He created the heaven and the earth. And then in verse 3, he says, And God said, that is the first time it is recorded, that he said, he used these words. He said, let there be light. And there was light. So with the spoken word, he created light. And it became the first wonder. Light appeared and it overshadowed the darkness. That appeared and became a reference point for day and night. That appeared and brought about life and increase to all men. You would agree with me that without light, we cannot do the things that we are supposed to do. We cannot dominate the way we are supposed to. Without light, animals cannot function. Men cannot function. Without light, even some animals cannot procreate. Without light, there is no such thing as photosynthesis. So that plants can grow. It is only when plants grow that men and animals can feed. If men and animals cannot feed, we are all dead. Hallelujah. The first wonder, the first creation, that of light. Perhaps the most important wonder ever. Hallelujah. Light is essential for all of us. It's essential for, for us to work, essential for us to thrive. And the world created light in such a way that Wherever you are in the world, world, you see different dimensions of light. If I'm in Australia, perhaps it's night. I'm here in Nigeria, perhaps it's day. Men call these things time zones. But one thing we realize is that wherever in the world that you are, whenever day breaks and light appears, you must rise and you must work. That is the first wonder. The wonder of creating light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Men sat somewhere and they came up with a number of things. They called them 
the wonders of the world. You know, there's so many lists these days that you don't even know which one is actual is the actual wonders of the world. Some tell you there are seven wonders of the new world, some seven wonders of the natural world. We know some of them. Mount Everest in Nepal. In fact, even China is claiming it. We know uh, we know the the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. We know the Grand Canyon in in, in the USA. We know uh, um, we know the Victoria Falls. That's a very popular one in Africa between Zambia and Zimbabwe. All all are natural wonders. We call them natural wonders. But one thing remains remarkable: that these are wonders, and not one of them, not one, is man-made. Not one is man-made. The wonders of the world were created by the wonders of his word. Hallelujah. The wonders of the world were created by the wonders in his word. When he spoke and created the heavens and the earth, that was when these wonders, that men consider wonders these days, that was when they appeared. Hallelujah. I mean, we, we, we go back, we say, without him was nothing, was not anything made that was made. Without his word, without the creative power of his word, was not anything made that was made. Without his word, was not the skies made. Without his word, was not the seas made, the birds of the air. Without his word, was not man made. Because even before he created man with his hands, he conferred amongst the heavenly host and said, let us make man. He said it first before he did it. Hallelujah. So he creates through his word. And the good thing is that because we are Christians, because we are sons of God, we have the same creative power in his word. He says, as many as, as are led by the spirit of God. You can, you can replace the spirit of God. In, in Romans chapter 8 verse 14. You can replace that spirit of God. For as many as are led by the word. They shall be called what? The sons of God. And what do sons of God do? They perform exploits. They do wonders. You become more like the one you read. You become more like the one you listen to. And so when you listen to him, you become more like him and you perform exploits. You perform wonder because that is who you are as a son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next wonder of his word that we are considering this evening is the healing wonder of his word. The scripture is, is replete with so many instances of God's healing power upon his people. You know, when Jesus, during his ministry on earth, there were so many instances in the Bible that were recorded of him healing people. And he did not just heal. He made whole. Hallelujah. I mean, we, 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 we hear about the, 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 the madman of Gadar, Gadar, Gadarin. We hear about, we hear about, uh, um, um, we hear about the, the ten lepers in Luke chapter 17 from 12 to 16. That he healed ten lepers. But of course, one of them came back and he came to thank God. And so he was, that one was not just healed. He was healed and he was made whole. If we read for that from verse 17 to 19, we see that he was actually made whole because he came back. So he can heal, he can make whole, he can go an extra step further and make whole. That is another wonder of his word. The healing power. But that is not the one I want to dwell on this evening. The one I want to dwell on is recorded in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8 to 13. And that is a very popular story, the story of the centurion. The one whose servant was ill. And you know, uh, the, the, the centurion did something very, very rem remarkable. You know, he, of course, he was a man under authority. And he understood the power of commands. He understood the power of words. And he knew that he was talking to the word himself, to Jesus himself. And he said, yes, my servant is ill. But I do not need you to come under my roof before you can heal him. I know that you are the word yourself. And when you speak that word, it is enough. To heal my servant. And he said, I know that you only have to speak. So just speak. And I know that you will, will be healed. And Jesus marveled at that faith. What manner of faith is this? And indeed, Jesus just pronounced the word. And healing was dispensed. Through the spoken word. I pray that the almighty God will speak over your life. And heal every infirmity in your life in the name of Jesus. The next one that we will talk about this evening. Is the wonder of sufficiency. Through the word, we see sufficiency. As Christians, we, we know that we have what we call the spiritual 419. I know that I shall not lack. I know that I cannot see poverty. Why? Because the Bible has told me in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. That I shall do what? 
He shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. When I open the book, when I open his word, I see prosperity in there. Why? Because I know that he has said that like the men of Issachar, I shall be able to decipher the economic times and seasons. I will know what to do by time. He says, I shall eat the good of the land because he has given unto me skills. He has given unto me talent. When I open the word, I see this. I know that I shall prosper. I know that I shall live in plenty. I know that I shall live in abundance. I know that I shall not lack anything good. I know that I shall not want because it is, it is written there in the word. Hallelujah. It is written there in the word that I shall not lack. And so I have seen prosperity and I have claimed it. Another very, very, very profound wonder that we can find in his word is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. He says the word of God is what? Is quick and powerful. Piercing to the reviving asunder. Descending the thoughts and intents of the heart of men. Hallelujah. The word goes out. A lot of times we read the Bible and the word goes out and it convicts us. How many of us study the Bible and then it's like the Holy Spirit is dragging us. He's speaking to us directly and saying you, 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 you. I mean something like this happened to me sometime last year. I, I, I was praying earnestly for something. I was praying consistently. And it seemed like nothing was happening. It seemed like I was not getting answers to my prayers. And I kept praying. And so I decided, okay, you know what? Let me go into the word. Let me look for something I can hold on to. A word I can hold on to for me to pray over this thing. And I started studying. I did not even plan it. And somehow, somehow, the Holy Spirit directed me to Isaiah chapter 59, from verse 1 to 3. What did I, I, just, I just opened it. And I started reading and he said, is my hand too short that I cannot help you? Are my ears deaf that I cannot hear you? No, that's not the case. I can hear you. I can help you. What has happened? Your iniquity, your sins have separated you from me. So it seems that I cannot hear you. It seems that I cannot, I cannot help you. That was the Holy Spirit at work. I was like, oh, wow, ah-ah. Uh -uh. I was looking for words to pray. And there you are dragging me saying it is my iniquity that is holding God back from helping me. And so the Holy Spirit convicts through the word. That is one of the most important wonders that we can find in the world. The, 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 the wonder of conviction. The wonder of salvation. Men study the word. And they see the contents of the word. And, 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 they, 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 and, and they are convicted. They are transformed. They are refined. I could easily have kept praying and praying and praying and praying and got no answers to my prayers. But the Holy Spirit took the word. He took the word and showed me where I was lacking. He showed me where I was wanting. And so I took that. And by the grace of God, after some time, that prayer was answered. Because I went back, I went, went down, went on my knees and asked for forgiveness. That any way I had sinned against him, any way I had come short of his glory, that made it look like he was not hearing me. I need to, I need to ask for forgiveness. And I did that. And so this is a call to us today. The word, the word of God works wonders in so many different dimensions. We talked about different dimensions today. We know that the creative wonder of God is available to us. We know that the sufficiency power of God is available to us. We know that he's able to give us sound health because he has the healing wonder. We know that he's able to do mighty things through us. But it appears that those wonders are not working for us. He says in, in, in Psalm chapter, uh, chapter 119 verse, verse 18 that... Open my eyes that I may see the wonders in your law. And, and you all the time you, you open the Bible. You open the Bible and you read. And you can see that he has said that I shall not lack. But it seems that you are lacking. He has said that you shall have no infirmity in your body. But it seems that you have infirmity all over you. And so you are wondering what is happening. But in the Bible, same Bible also says through the psalmist in same Psalm 119 verse, verse 11 that you have my, my word have I hid in my in your your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. So it seems like we are reading, but we are not hiding the word. We read the word, but we are not hiding it in our heart. We are not making it a, a consistent part of our lives. And so we just read for the sake of reading. 
We open the word, but our eyes are not open. We are just fulfilling our righteousness. We are just reading for the sake of reading. And that is why these wonders in his word are not manifesting in our lives. And so this evening we are going to pray. That Father, I have heard your word this evening. I have heard that your word has the ability to set me apart. Your word has the ability to do wonders in my life. And through your word, I can be a wonder to my world. Not this evening. I have been reading, but it appears that I have not hid your word in my heart. Help me, Lord, to be able to hide your word in my heart. So that by time, I am aligned with you and I can do wonders through your word in the name of Jesus. I have, I have probably come short of your glory in one way or the other. I have probably sinned against you. I have probably done things that, that, that do not make you happy. And as a result, I am not seeing the result of these wonders in my life. I am not able to perform exploits. Like you have said that the children or the sons of God will do. Because I am not in alignment with you. Lord, I want you to bring me into alignment with you. I want you to bring me into alignment with you. So that the word can begin to work wonders in my life. And through the word I can work wonders even for my world. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I want to begin to see the manifestation of the word in my life. You have said I shall be healed of all infirmities. You have said I shall be whole. I shall not be ill. Lord, you have said that I shall not, I shall not lack anything good. Rather, I shall prosper. Lord, I want these things to begin to manifest in my life. Lord, help me that I might hide your word in my heart. In the name of Jesus. Help me that I might hide my, your word in my heart. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. Lord, help me that I might hide your word in my heart. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help me that... I, and for some of us, it might be that we need to rededicate our lives to him. It might be that we have been with him for a while. But we have tarried. We have stepped back. We have held back from him. We have held back from handing our lives to him. And as a result, we are not seeing these wonders. In so you might need to rededicate your life this, this, this evening. If you want to rededicate your life this evening, I want you to say this prayer with me. Lord, I have come to you once again. I have come to rededicate my life to you. I know that your word performs wonders. I know that through your words, I can become a wonder to my world. Lord, help me. Lord, I have come to you. I have come to give it all back to you this evening. Lord, I have come to rededicate myself to you. And I say that you should take it all in the name of Jesus. Lord, take it all from me. Accept me in the name of Jesus. Accept me in the name of Jesus. I'm your son. Accept me in the name. Just like the prodigal son came back to his father. And he received. And he received from his father. Lord, accept me this evening in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Our most high God in heaven, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your word that you have brought to us this evening. We thank you for your, 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 your word that you have given to us. We know now that your word is able to work wonders in our lives. We know now that through your word, we can even work wonders in our world. We can create things in our world. We can heal the sick. Through your word, we can make whole. Through your word, we, 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 we can create economic wealth for ourselves and for the world. Lord, we have come to you this evening and we say that, Lord, you will help us to study your word in the name of Jesus. You will open our eyes that we may see the wonders that are in your word in the name of Jesus. That no longer shall we be blind to the wonders that you have deposited in your word for us, for our use as Christians, even here on earth. In the name of Jesus. Now through your word we shall be wonders to our world in the name of Jesus. That you also help us to hide your word in our hearts. So that we will not sin against you. In the name of Jesus. So that part time, at every point in time, when you speak to us, we shall be in alignment with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because you've answered our prayers. Thank you because you have done even more than we have asked for this evening. For in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. Brethren, it's time to give our offerings. And for those of you that are watching us right now, we we'll ask that you please um, look at the screen for um, our account details, RCCG, LSC, Echo Bank account details. 
I would also ask that you use, probably use your um, bank short codes or you use your bank app. Or either still, you could go to our website and go to www.rccglse.org forward slash online givings. Please let's give, give our offerings as we praise God this evening. Um, okay, so we'll just be praying for this offerings right now. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We thank you because you provided this means. We thank you because you've given unto us. We thank you because our lives are o- o- always a smelling server unto you. Father, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We pray that this offering that we have given, we pray that it will be used for the furtherance of your work here on earth in the name of Jesus. Father, please bless those that have given this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow, that was such an amazing session. Two points that I took away was that there was no wonder of the world that was not created without the world. And the world creates, it saves, and it protects. I hope we take all these key points to us going forward and we learn and we continue to apply each and everything we learn today. Don't forget to subscribe and to like all our videos. Every week we have Wednesday service. Do join us. LSC loves you. God bless you.